Hey guys, this is a video in my KCO Scientific Calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate permutations and combinations using your KCO Scientific Calculator. The model I have here is a KCO FX300 MS. However, the steps should be applicable to similar model calculators. I'm going to try and keep the video short, so without further ado, let's get to it. As you know, a permutation is a selection of objects where the arrangement or order matters. For example, if we want to figure out the possible number of arrangements of 5 objects from a set of 11 objects, the permutation would be written in this form, where the n value is 11 and the r value is 5. So this is what the permutation would look like. Now if we're trying to type that in on the calculator, notice we have the NPR form here for permutation right above the NCR, uh, which is for combination. So since N is on the left and R is on the right, you have to type in the N value before you select this option. So our N value is 11, so I'm going to type in 11 on the number pad. So this is what uh, the entry looks like now and then I'm going to press shift and the combination button and then this appears so the entry looks like this so far now I'm going to type in the R value which is 5 and the entry looks like this and press enter or equals and there we have the answer Next, I'm going to do a combination. A combination is a selection of objects from a group where the order does not matter. For example, if we want to figure out the possible number of different combinations of five objects selected from a group of 11 objects, it would be written in this form where we have n, c, r, n is 11 and the r value is 5. So just as before, Let's clear this out. So just as before, we're going to have the N on the left and the R on the right. The only difference is we're not going to use the NPR, we're going to use the NCR button for combination. So we'll type in the N value first. So that's 11. This is what it looks like. The N value is typed in, press the NCR button and the calculator screen looks like this. Now just type in the R value which is 5. So the entry looks like this so far and press equals. And there we have the answer. I hope this video helps. As always if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to help. Check out other videos on my channel especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series and until next time Take care, guys.